How our RFID is about to demonstrate here is uh, the read range of different types of tags. In this case we've got normal uh, UHF inlays that have been placed on a piece of cardboard and as you can see from the software we've got monitoring we're reading every tag that is presently on that piece of cardboard. So now we've, uh, we've replaced the, uh, the Gen 2 UHF tags uh, with the uh, same type of UHF tag, only now they're placed on a piece of metal. And it's the same orientation. And now this is the result. Absolutely no tags are being seen. This is the problem we're faced when we've got UHF Gen 2 tags being placed on metal and we will attempt to show you a demonstration of how different types of manufacturers have come up with tags to solve this uh, what seemed like an, an unsolvable problem earlier on. Let's set the sage here. Now RFID is going to show you the performance of on-metal tags UHF EPC on-metal tags. We have 16 tags different manufacturers, different prices, different form factors have been attached to pieces of metal similar to this. Our test facility is marked off in feet, back to 24 feet, all the way up to where the readers are located, reader and antennas. We have a variety of antennas in use, circular antennas and linear antennas. Here we have a program that is reading the different tags. You'll notice that there's three, two and one dollar signs that indicate uh, the cost of the tag relative to each other. Also the size of the box, there's some very small tags and there's some large tags and there's some medium sized tags. So we'll demonstrate how distance affects uh, readability and you'll be surprised to see how far you can read on metal UHF tags. You'll notice now we've got about a uh, less than one foot read range between the antenna and the tags and you notice from the monitor that all 16 tags are being read. So now we've placed the tags six feet or two yards, about two meters, away from the reader antenna. And you'll find that now we've lost, we started with 16 tags, we've now dropped off to approximately 10 tags. Different sizes, different prices. This is the number of tags at play now with seven feet away from the reader. We're now eight feet away from the antenna. We're now nine feet or about three meters away from the antenna. We've now placed the tags ten feet away from the antenna. We're now 11 feet from the antenna. Note we've got seven tags, six that are being read regularly, a seventh coming in intermittently. We've now moved the tags to 12 feet or four meters away. Note, still able to read eight. RFID tags, on metal UHF tags, again different prices, different form factors. Just, uh, a segment. This is now 13 feet from the antenna. We're now 14 feet from the antenna. Notice we got four, five tags coming in and out of play. We're now 15 feet from the antenna. Same tags are in play. 
that have been for the last uh, four or five feet. We're now 16 feet from the antenna. Notice now we're 17 feet away and uh, this is the nature of RF. We've now actually uh, reintroduced a couple of tags that were previously unreadable. Uh, probably some crosstalk occurring. And uh, so that's 17 feet, seven tags. We've now moved the on metal tags back 16 feet, 18 feet, 18 feet. That's about six yards, six meters. Net result, still able to read five of the 16 that we initially started with. It's dropping off anywhere between four and five tags. You'll see that there's again a mix of size and price point for the tags that are being read. We're now at 19 feet. Uh, still got the seven tags coming in that came in a couple of feet ago, so the multipathing is probably still in effect. We're now 20 feet from the antenna. Notice there's only one of the 16 tags still readable. And now we'll determine how far away we can in fact move this tag from the antenna before we lose it. We're now sitting about 48 feet from the antenna. 